Hi folks, I really hope you're well. Today I'm gonna to go through the five most rudimentary steps you must take to make sure your workplace ergonomics are good. And some of these are my absolute favorite. And over the years I've helped countless number of people with the same advice and not only helped their posture, but helped their back pain as well. And later in the video, I'm gonna go through a male-female difference that is almost always overlooked. When you're sitting, you want to make sure your feet are flat on the ground and your knees are at a 90 degree angle and your back is nice and relaxed. Now the main criteria when you're sitting is you want to make sure your hips are always higher than your knees. And there's a couple ways to achieve that. Some chairs have a tilt forward mechanism or some don't and so we're going to go through both ways right now. The simplest thing you could do is to add a portable ergonomic seating device that you can use on any chair like our foundation. And our foundation, you can use this anywhere and it sits, when you sit on the foundation, it takes the pressure off of your spine, it sets the hips at a perfect angle where it takes the pressure off your spine, your discs and puts it back onto your big foundational muscles. So it not only feels great but it engages your core muscles so you're actually exercising right now. Another way to go is you can get a chair that has a forward tilt mechanism. Now here's a chair that I engineered and designed myself and I tooled it myself and it's really really expensive this chair was designed for people who like sit all day long like people who work in the film industry and it's a chair that costs many thousands to make and but what we did with our foundation is we incorporated the same technology we used the same angles the same dimensions and we used the th same materials actually we used a three-dimensional material uh, fabric that's easily washable and it stretches isotropically and it has three different layers because the main thing is this you want to hold when you sit on the foundation or any corrective device you want to make sure it holds this angle all day long backrest in terms of uh, in terms of priority you want to make sure you want to get the sequence right so you want to make sure your feet are flat on the ground and your hips are above your knees roughly if for you technical people out there's 110 degrees between trunk and thigh and this sets the pelvis at a perfect angle it engages the core muscles and takes the stress off your back and so if you get that right the, the back or lumbar support is almost mute but if you're going to have one great and they're comfortable set the set the apex of that curve roughly at l3 which is a half inch to one inch above the belt line most chairs have an adaption there second of all you want to make sure that the chair is unlocked so the chair is moving you want to keep that you don't want to keep that in a static position you want to keep that moving so that engages your core muscles it it hydrates your spine and it keeps the joints moving it's very beneficial to the body to keep you keep moving throughout the day armrest in terms of priority you want to get the, the the basics right first you want to make sure your feet are flat on the ground your hips are above your knees roughly about 110 degrees between trunk and thigh this way your muscles are engaged your back is relaxed okay if you're going to use a back you want to make sure that's at 90 degrees and unlocked the apex is at l3 now if you're going to use an armrest and i recommend you do use armrest you want to make sure when you're sitting your shoulders are relaxed and your elbows at 90 degrees so you want to bring those armrests up adjust them to where your shoulders relax at 90 degrees and your shoulders are relaxed like this okay now the thing about this is once you get the priority right then you get the, ch the table right so the table should be level with the armrest so you want to bring if we had an imaginary table here the armrest should be touching the armrest should be touching right at the table lamp okay now a couple of things that are binary male or females if you're born male if you hold your arms out here like this you would notice like I am I have a kind of a V shape or they call it coxa valga okay so think imagine this when I turn my hands over here like this to use a mouse or keyboard my hands should be slightly towards the midline now if you're born female your arms would be a little straighter and so when you turn your hands out like this you want your hands straight in front of you when you're using a mouse or keyboard so if you're if you're male you want to turn the arm rests slightly towards the midline like this and females keep it straight like that. Your monitor, in terms of good ergonomics for setting up your monitor, the rule of thumb is you wanna make sure your monitor is an arm length away. The top of the monitor should be one to two inches above your eyebrow. And this is really good for your neck structure, neck support and shoulder support, your neck alignment. Um, you wanna tilt the monitor so it's slightly facing up, but the caveat with that is if you're getting glare from your lights above, don't do that, just keep it straight. Uh, a couple things about glare, uh, I, a couple things I recommend is, one thing is to get these blue blocker glasses, you can find them online, they're very inexpensive and they work really well to block the blue light and it's beneficial for your health and it's very good to keep you sleeping well. Uh, another way you can do is you can download a, an app called Flux and we're gonna put that link down below and that should do the trick. Hey, I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe down below and we will talk to you real soon. Thank you.